Hello and welcome to another trippy part. This time from Emden in northwest Germany to Münster. And if you're a regular viewer of this channel, I probably hear you thinking, oh, this is not an international train and it's not a long distance train either. And that's true. However, I do have a good story about this because this is the most Dutch train you can find in Germany. Not because it's going along the Dutch border at the German side, but also because it's being operated by a subsidiary of the Dutch state owned railway company NS, what is called Abedio. I arrived here, by the way, with a ferry from the Netherlands. So from here on, you also find a connection to the Netherlands. Um, these ferries don't run very frequent. They're not an obvious way to travel between the Netherlands and Germany, but they're a fun way um, and they only go seasonally. I made a video about that as well, so check out more on that video if you want to know more about that. It, you can find it in the description of this video. Anyway, what I will do in this video, I will show you Emden Hauptbahnhof where I'm at right now, show you the trains and some views from the train and probably something more. I hope you like this video. If you do so, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos about a more sustainable way of transportation, mainly trains, sometimes ferry and sometimes long distance buses, subscribe to my channel. But for now, let's Whoa, the intro. Today, we'll be traveling on line RE15. Apart from the fact that this train is being operated by the Dutch state and railway company and has at least a subsidiary and is running along the Dutch border, you also find at several spots connections on public transport to the Netherlands. I'll tell you more about this after I show you the railway station of Emden Hauptbahnhof, so Emden Main Railway Station and the trains. Just like at most bigger railway stations, at the front you find a lot of buses, so you find connecting local public transport. Some other facilities like toilets, a taxi stand and even a phone booth can be found over here as well. And I noticed there's free public Wi-Fi at this square at several spots at least. I think it's built in in the land term lines. And of course, because at this part of Germany the bike is a very popular way of transportation, you find lots of places where you can park bikes. I also noticed this old steam engine a little bit more at the side of this square. A taxi stand is located right next to the bus stop. A little bit more here at the left from the toilets. For now, I think you have an impression of the surrounding area. It's not a big station at all. Emden is a very popular touristic destination and mainly for people traveling towards the Wadden Island of Borken. I'll get back to this a little bit later on in the video. In Germany, railway stations do have categories from 1 to 7. Well, 1 are the highest categories and 7 the lowest. Emden Hauptbahnhof is a category 3 railway station. Within the railway station hall you will find some information screens about departing trains but also buses, some shops where you can buy foods and drinks, touristical information points and also a ticket counter that's translated as Reisecentrum what basically means travel center. Lockers and vending machines for tickets can be found here as well. Because this is a category 3 railway station this means that this is a regional junction for trains and you'll find some long distance trains over here. Not a whole lot. This hall will lead from the main hall towards the platforms. An overground passage will link most platforms with the main railway station hall. Although our train today departed from track number 2 and this is located right next to the main railway station building. By the way, you also find elevators to the other platforms. And this here is our train today, the Westfalenbahn line RE15. Before we take a close look at the interior, let's take a look at the exterior. The numbers 1 and 2 at the side of the train do indicate where the first and the second class is, and icons do indicate specific facilities. Points where you can enter these trains if you're traveling with a bike have been clearly marked with a bike icon. These trains are relatively simple, but they're good for the job. Apart from the number 1 at the side, the first class has been marked with this orange stripe. For now, let's take a look at the interior of these trains. And even though it's very small and the differences between first and second class are not big at all, I'll start off with the first class. The first class comes in a 2x2 configuration. I think you have some more leg space, but that's basically it. 
apart from the extra armrest you find between the seats. Some seats do face each other, in that case you find this smaller table between the seats and at the side of the table there's a power plug. The seats that do come in an airline style composition do offer more than enough leg space, but I found this pretty good in the second class as well. Within the first class there's one extra luggage rack, but you also find the overhead luggage racks like everywhere in the train. For now let's move on to the second class and as you can see at the total front and the back of the train you find a lot of space for travelers by bikes. And otherwise you can use this for extra luggage space. Second class comes in a 2x2 two two configuration. Near the entrance doors you find screens that will route information and also near the entrance doors and at the end of the compartments you will find LED screens that will host route information. There are special luggage racks at some spots of the train but you also find the overhead luggage racks. Apart from that, between the back ends of the seats you can also store quite a lot of luggage. Let's take a closer look at the toilets. I recorded this just before a cleaning crew came to clean the train and I think that was also necessary, but this is how the regular toilets look like. There's also a bigger toilet that's also accessible for people with mobility problems. I'll show you this in a bit. Most seats do face each other in second class, but there are also some airline style seats. Apart from that you also find a lot of folding seats. This is how the bigger toilet looks like, that's also accessible for people with mobility problems and you can turn this into a nursery space for babies. Not the cleanest toilet either. But once again, the train was cleaned right after I shot this. I shot this when the train was just standing in the railway station and I think it had just arrived. At the other end, like I mentioned before, you find a lot of space for bikes. And if you move to the total front, you find another section of the second class. The first class section is really limited. At the moment the seats do face each other, a power plug, garbage can and a small table can be found at the window. You will find bigger garbage cans near the entrance and the exit doors of these trains. Route information mainly about the Westfalenbahn and well, general information about these trains can be found at several spots at this side and near the toilets. Seats in second class do offer a fair amount of legroom. However, there's no tray table and you won't find power plugs over here. That's really a big downside to me. By the way, you will not find these trains on all routes of the Westfalenbahn. Let's take a closer look at the railway network of the Westfalenbahn. Today we'll be traveling with line RE15 from Emden Hauptbahnhof to Münster Westfalen Hauptbahnhof. Some trains do start or end at Emden Außenhafen and over there you find connection on the ferries to the German Wadden end of Borkum. Apart from these ferries, there are also ferries to the German Wadden island of Borkum from Eemshaven in the Netherlands. There's a railway station right next to the ferry terminal. I also featured this in the trip report. Something else you find at Eemshaven is a ferry to Norway from the Netherlands. From Emden, but not directly from Emden Außenhaven, you will also find a ferry, but very seasonably though, and if it's running, it's not every day and maximum two times per day, to the Dutch town of Delfzijl. So in Emden, you find connection to the Netherlands. The next town is Leer Ostfriesland. And this is a bigger town in terms of an international connection and especially if you're traveling from the Netherlands towards Scandinavia for example. In Meppen there's a bus connection to the Dutch town of Emmen and both in Salzbergen and Rijnen there's a connection on the local train between Hengelo and Bielefeld, so also towards the Netherlands. In Rijnen you also find a connection on the intercity train between Amsterdam and Berlin. For long distance travelers towards the north of Germany and Scandinavia from the Netherlands, Osnabrück is the most important junction. The last stop where you find international trains to the Netherlands is Münster from where you find trains to the Dutch town of Enschede. At last, free Wi-Fi is available. For now, I'll show you some views from the train on the line RE15 from Emden to Münster.
right now and I'm at the railway station Rijn. This is a kind of a junction for the north-south railway line and the east and west. A little bit more towards the direction Osnabrück, there's a bigger junction where you find more long distance trains. Anyway, the train continues to uh, Münster, it's about 30 minutes from here. I get out here and take a train to the Netherlands back home. Um, I think my cat needs some attention. We just have the cats and uh, I just like to play a little bit with the cats. So this is why I won't go too far off tour today. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do so, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you'd like to see more train related videos, sometimes ferry and sometimes long distance buses, subscribe to my channel. See you on my next video. Before I really end this video, if you're interested in other trip reports, in the description of this video on YouTube, you find a link to a map and on this map, you find all trip reports I did. The lines do indicate the routes and the icons do indicate the station, ferry terminal or bus station refuse. Once again, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.